Hi friends, welcome to 209 Online. Um, today I would like to review the vocabulary that we learned last week in Spanish class. La ropa, which means your clothes. And today what I'm going to give all of you is your own little book to make at home. And I wrote the word ropa, R-O-P-A, in the middle. So it says my ropa book, my clothes book. And on, on the back, I wrote my name, me llamo Rachel. My name is Rachel. And what you're going to do today is make this book. And inside has all of the words, most of the words, I think, all, um, if not all of the words that we learned last week. So we're going to review them real quick. Let's start with this one. Camisa is your shirt. Pantalones, pants. Calcetines, socks. Vestido, dress. Gorro, hat. Zapatos, shoes. Pantalones cortos, shorts. Botas, boots. Falda, skirt. Chaqueta, jacket. Guantes, gloves. Abrigo, coat. So you've got a jaqueta for a jacket, like a lighter coat, and then abrigo is like a thicker coat. And that's it. Okay, so this is your project. I would love for you to make these mini books. And it's perfect because you can use these when I give you the other worksheets and activities that use these words. If you can't remember what one of the words means, just look it up in your book and it'll tell you, okay? So this is the first project. The second part I would like you guys to do, if you are in, uh, if you're a preschooler, I think the kindergartners did this already, but preschoolers, I would like you to do this now. You guys are going to Look at the words in your book. You're gonna find the right word. So this one says camisa, and you're going to find camisa in your book like this. So what, what is camisa? Camisa is a shirt. So then you will find the shirt right here, right there, and cut it out and glue it next to the word camisa, okay? And on the very, once you do all of the words camisa, Calcetines, pantalones, zapatos, vestido, gorro. Once you do all of those words and cut out your pictures and glue them, the bottom, we've done this in class before with a different activity. I think you might remember this. This is find the mystery word. And what you're going to do is you are going to color each block inside that has an X in it. Okay, and once you color in all of the X's, a word is going to appear, okay? And I'll give you a clue. It's one of the words that are listed up here. So you'll be able to solve the mystery and find out what the secret word is, okay? Now, if you are in kindergarten, I still want you to make one of these books because it's great for you to reference it if you need to, a reminder of what one of the words are. Kindergartners, I would love for you to try Remember These, which is a crossword puzzle, and it's kind of um, started for you. You get to see, and what you're going to do, this one's already done, what you do is you look at the picture and you see the arrow pointing down in this case, and they filled in, these are socks, right? Well, you look up what is socks in Spanish, calcetines and you write the word calcetines in the boxes. 
and it should fit perfectly, okay? And there's also a word bank on the bottom that's going to help you remember what some of the words are, okay? Or if you don't know how to spell it, it'll help you, all right? So calcetines is already filled in, so let's go over to this one. You see how it's shirt right here? We know that, we just talked about camisa, right? So if I don't know how to spell camisa, that's okay. I can look on the bottom, camisa, C-A-M-I-S-A. -S -S let's see if it fits. C is already there, A-M-I-S-A, -S -S and it's already there. So I know that that's a perfect fit. And you will fill in all the rest of the boxes that match with the right picture, okay? And the last thing I'd like you to do, if you're in kindergarten, is this, and this is pretty easy peasy. It's just a, um, a review of, of how to say some of the words in Spanish. The top box is you're supposed to circle the items that do not belong, and the bottom is you circle the items that are alike or similar, okay? And as you do it, you're supposed to try to say the word in Spanish. So here I would say zapatos, oh sorry, calcetines, zapatos, and gorro. It's just a way to practice, you know, pronouncing the words a little bit more. And remember, if you're in preschool and you wanna try some of these other pages that I have here, you're more than welcome to print them out. I will make sure that they are all available for you to try, okay? Thank you so much for joining me. I miss you all very much, and we will talk soon. Adios, ciao.